Hey guys and welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. So in today's video I am going to be doing a full face of Kmart makeup and I am keen as a bean. So I literally have a bunch of makeup here to try. I have more that's over there that I just cannot pick up. Um, so I went to Kmart and I picked up the brand OXX and I'm sure we've all seen it or most of us would have seen it. But what I discovered is that there's two different types of this brand. So they have the original OXX, which is like their $2 to $4 makeup. But then they have the OXX Studio line, which is more so of like the $4 to $10 pricing. But at the end of the day, it's still cheap as, and I'm so excited to try it. So. Let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I have here is the OXX Studio Brightening Studio Primer. So this is the primer right here. It has like all the little beads through it. And oh, it's, it's just dangling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to smooth that all over my face. Oh! That smells really nice. It feels super smooth. Like it feels really nice on the skin. Okay, so the next product I have is the foundation and this is the Flawless Finish Foundation. I have mine in the shade 04 Beige. Now I have watched a couple reviews on this brand and a lot of people were saying that pretty much all of their foundations oxidize really bad. So I got the lightest shade. Um, now it does say that it has a medium coverage um, base. So we'll see if we can build it up. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh geez. Okay, there we go. I got some out on my hand. Oh, that's really hard to get out. Is it because it's so thick or is it the pump? Oh no, this is the lightest shade and it's dark. <laughs> oh no, that means it's going to oxidize and be even darker. Can we see the difference? <laughs> I'm like white over here and like awkwardly tanned. Okay, so that is one layer. I would not say it is medium coverage. I would say it's a light to medium. Um, just for the first couple of pumps, you can still see every single one of my pimples on my forehead. You can see the redness, you can see it all. The shade, I'm like really upset about because I actually wanted this to work out. Okay, so moving on to something that I am praying will work out. I have the um, Studio Concealer, and this is in the second shade, which is called Ivory. The lightest one looked white. So that's not okay on my skin tone. I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes. Oh, that's a good shade. I like that. That's not bad. I mean, it nearly matches my foundation. I can't tell if that blends really easily or that just blended into nothing. Oh no. Ooh, it's actually got really nice coverage. Okay, well I really, really like that concealer. It's not the most brightening. Maybe I should have gotten the um, light shade, but this is actually really good. I do like that one a lot. Okay, so I picked up the um, OXX Studio Matte Finishing Powder. Um, this is a pressed powder, and this was in the medium shade, which I'm hoping oh, is not going to make me any darker because I just can't handle that right now. It's definitely not a medium shade. That's pale. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. Oh, shit. That's powdery. Ooh. 
Well, thank God I didn't buy the light shade. What is going on? I look like Corella Deville's head. This is the medium shade. What the hell is the light shade then? Casper the ghost? So I have tried to buff the powder into my face as best as I can and I am looking a little bit better but um I got questions. Okay, so I have the Studio Bronzer here and mine is in 01 Sunrise. Now this is the one that looked like it was the best match for me, but after what we've just gone through, I wouldn't know anymore. I've lost all hope. I've just lost it. Okay, so this is the bronzer right here. Now it looks like a highlighter. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it really does look like one. So that is it there, and it's very, very glowy. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna take an angled brush, which is a bit more dense. A little bit. Okay, so this product really makes you work for it. Like, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there is so much powder everywhere from me really digging into this. I feel like I'm just putting highlighter like everywhere especially on my forehead. It's so obvious on my forehead. Okay, and then moving on to the blush. I have a blush here in the shade Peony. So I'm just going to, ooh, help. That's actually not, oh my God, is this glowy as well? It is. Why does everything have shimmer in it? Okay, so the blush isn't bad to be honest. Um, I don't mind it. I just feel like it's the wrong shade for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing highlighter. <laughs> now I'm doing it. Um, so I have the highlighter in the shade Ice Queen. I was wrong. This is really pretty. The only thing I don't like is that it does add texture. Um, so you can see a lot of imperfections on my skin, but hello, hello. Okay, so moving on to the eyes and then the lips, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows and I picked up the eyebrow kit in the shade medium. They only had light and medium. It has a little tiny eyebrow brush in it and a really cute pair of tweezers. Um, so by the looks of it, you have your two eyebrow shades at the top. You've got a highlighting shade and also a brow wax and that's what we're gonna use. I have noticed with all the products that I put on top of the foundation, it's starting to look a little bit cakey. Okay, so I have that down and I actually don't mind it. I think it's pretty good. Um, but I'm now gonna go in with this dark shade on the side and I'm gonna use that to fill in my eyebrows properly. Okay, so I do find myself constantly dipping back in all the time because the product really doesn't go that far. It's super good if you want more of a natural brow. I'm going to move on to eyeshadow now and I just picked up the eyeshadow palette, this one 
here. This one was in the shade Lily, so it's got like purpley berry tones in it. And honestly, it was like the only one that I really liked. Okay, so these are the shades just here. It is pretty basic. So I'm gonna try really hard to get, I don't know, something out of this. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is go in with the bronzer first and I'm gonna use that as a transition color. Okay, so now that I've got a little bit of a transition color down, I'm gonna go in with this pink right here, just on a small blending brush, and I'm gonna pop that all through my crease. I'm then just gonna go in with this darker purple, which is on the other side, and I'm gonna pop that in my outer V. Okay, so that's literally as dark as I can get it so far. Um, I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush and this other color that's up here, um, which is more of like a shimmer, but I'm going to try putting that in my outer V and I'm going to see if that deepens it up a bit more. Not really. <laughs> All right, and with the same pencil brush, I'm then going to go in with the lighter shade on the palette and I'm going to pop that all over my lid and my brow bone and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and then I'm just going to run that first purple underneath my eyes. So overall of the eyeshadows, not the most pigmented, um, not the greatest, although I feel like these would be perfect if you were just starting out with makeup. Okay, next I have a liquid liner and this is just the Cosmetics Eyeliner in black. Can you see how thick and clumpy that looks? Okay, that's really not that good. I feel like doing a wing is just asking for a disaster. I can't use this. I cannot use this at all. This tugs really bad on my skin. Um, so it's just like created like bits of bumps everywhere. Um, there's hardly any product on here. Um, and it basically distributes all the product as soon as you just do that one dot and then there's nothing left. So I'm going to use a different eyeliner and I'll be back. Okay, so the next thing I have is their lengthening mascara in the black shade as well. Oh. Oh, it smells like paint. It actually smells like paint. Am I putting paint on my eyes? I feel like it's better like when you apply one coat, but then you let it dry. It seems to work a bit better but it's not terrible. I mean, I feel like I would probably use this again. So that's the difference between my two eyes. I don't know if there's a huge difference, but if you apply one coat and then let it dry and then do another one, I noticed that it works pretty well. So it's not bad. Okay, so I've just finished doing my mascara, but I have just noticed right here above my, right near my highlighter, the foundation and everything has started to break apart. And that's where I was moving the brush back and forth, applying my highlighter. Okay, so moving on to something I'm actually really excited about. Um, I found that they also have false eyelashes. Um, so the style that I got was in Victoria, and it says that it comes with some eyelash glue, but I'll use my own. So these are the lashes right here. Honestly, they look really beautiful. They have no band, so it's a clear band um, from what I can see. But they look exactly like the Ardell Glamour Wispies. So I'm going to pop these on and see how they go. Okay, so my lashes are on and they were so, so easy to put on. I really, really like these. So I think I'm going to get a few more of these. Okay, so moving on to the last thing, which is lips today. So the shade that I chose is like a nude pink. And this one is in the shade Henry Ford. That's actually really nice. It's not like crazy pigmented, um, but it goes on really smoothly.
Okay guys, that is pretty much all I have today. I did not get a setting spray because I kind of forgot. But overall, only a few things have impressed me and that I'll probably be using again. Well, that is me trying out Kmart makeup for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know I can try out more brands, especially the really cheap ones, because I feel like they relate to a lot more people. They're easier to get your hands on and you're not gonna be selling an arm and a leg just to get one product. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. But until next time, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.